So we saw some uh, electricity out of the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler was awesome in this game. He had a bad interception. I'll get that out of the way. I didn't break it down. I'm only talking about the positives on this video, but he looked great, and he looked like, you know, he is someone who, despite the fact he had a very good rookie season, he has continued to improve since he's been in the NFL, and maybe he's taken another leap forward. Um, again, it's one game. We're going to get people overreacting, but I thought that as a whole, he was great, so let's just get into the film study and talk about uh, what went so well for him and the rest of the Cardinals. So let's start off with this play. What's going to happen is this is really how his, you know, running ability can not only help himself, but help his team and help the rushing game as a whole. Although on this play, it is going to be him keeping the ball himself, but it's a very simple concept. Basically, he, you know, you have you can do this several different ways actually you can have it be a designed quarterback run a designed halfback run or you can have it be an option uh typically i think the best way to do this is an option but you will sometimes have it be a a straight up uh you know running play in one direction although this one is an option kyler has a decision to keep it himself or to hand it off and basically his decision is going to be the edge rusher on the top of the screen uh, so to the offense is right if he plays the run, Kyler takes it himself and runs to the top of the screen. If he's prepared for a Kyler run, then you just hand the ball off. That's basically how this works, and watch what happens. The edge crashes in, so you're going to see Kyler keep it himself. And at this point, you see that there is a Tennessee player who can run over and make this tackle. And if this is a lesser quarterback in this spot, you're gaining a few yards, but you're not probably gaining too much. Uh, but of course, Kyler is no lesser rushing quarterback. He is elite at that stuff and watch what he's going to do. I mean, look at him just sort of move like that. And he is going to be able to pick up a good amount of yards and, you know, get close to that first down marker simply through his good ability to run at the football. Whereas a typical running back probably only gains three or four yards. So just a small example of what he can do so well in the running game. We also have something like this. I thought Kyler made some really good reads. You can tell that he's just getting smarter as as he's playing more and more in the NFL. Not that he was ever a dumb quarterback, but he is. He's getting more intelligent with this stuff. This is quarters coverage, and you have a concept that's kind of designed to pick on a coverage like this, where the way it works is you have a receiver out towards the sideline, the number one receiver is running a go route, your number two receiver running an out route. I've circled a Tennessee player Basically, there's going to be two routes in his zone, and he's going to have to choose which one to cover, and that's basically Kyler's decision. He waits, he sees, okay, which guy is that covering, and then you throw it to the other guy. It's pretty simple. And once this play starts, you see that the Tennessee defender is moving further in, which means that Kyler now can throw the ball deep. Bit of a tough thing to do a little bit because, you know, the ball was snapped on the hash marks towards the bottom of the screen. So while he is a couple of yards away from that, he's, you know, he's further away. He's on the hash marks towards his left or close to them. The throw is all the way towards the sideline on his right. So it's not just the yards down the field. It's also the yards diagonally. However, as you see, he is able to whip it in there and they are able to pick up a good gain like that because you can push the ball down the field like that so just a very good throw from Kyler Murray to get it down the field something like this was awesome it's also kind of funny because this was not uh this was Kyler Murray's fault that this whole situation happened to begin with so it's a third down and goal at the five yard line and you know they got the ball they thought they had a touchdown it was then first and goal at the one there's now third and goal at the one you don't want to not get the touchdown here have to settle for a field goal at the time it felt like Tennessee had a good chance to come back in this game so uh you know you don't want to have to kick a field goal here it's man coverage a cover two man play and i've you know that yellow box right there i really want you to focus on the edge rusher uh it's a little bit difficult to tell with this graphic you know it's not the tight end who's blocking him it's the right tackle who's blocking him and uh, really watch what happens and watch what I mean when I say this is kind of Kyler's fault. I mean, look, Kyler t he takes a snap and he just runs way too far back. I mean, he is 12 yards past the line of scrimmage at this point. You cannot blame a tackle for this. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to cover that far down the field. So Kyler, he put himself in trouble right here, but he can kind of weirdly do that because he is so good at evading pressure because watch how he then does just easily run by and he's going to make this off balance throw for a touchdown as a whole I would probably say maybe don't make a habit of doing it but again I'm not going to criticize somebody for throwing a touchdown that's kind of always been my mindset you make something happen uh that I, I give you credit for it and that's what he can do uh and again it's just an incredible 
feat of athleticism. Forget the should he have been too far back. Just the athletic play itself was just awesome. And again, there's some stuff like this where this one, it's going to be a cover zero blitz. So man coverage across the board, everyone else rushes the passer, and Kyler doesn't have anyone blocking. It's five offensive linemen, uh, you know, no tight ends, no halfbacks, and there's six guys rushing. So he has to get rid of this ball very quickly. And with Hopkins running a quick route over the middle, which might have been a hot route, I don't know, but either way, that's what he's running. And Kyler, again, just at the line, is going to read this very quickly. Watch how he does. Just, you know, immediately gives it to Hopkins, and then Hopkins makes a move and takes it the rest of the, rest of the way for a touchdown. So, you know, it, it does help that you're throwing to DeAndre Hopkins. That definitely makes things easier on both of those plays, right? Uh, having an elite wide receiver obviously helps. But I love Kyler just recognizing the play at the line, knowing what you're supposed to do, and doing it. It looks easy, and you, a lot of people would say, eh, that's just Hopkins making a great play. It was, but it was also Kyler putting the ball in his best player's hands, and that's what you're supposed to do as a quarterback. All right, now let's now go over to this one. So it is man coverage. Uh, you have the number two receiver who's running a route towards the sideline. Could get open, third down and four. So, you know, Kyler is going to take this chance. And But what I love about this isn't that he makes this throw. It's how he's going to do it. So, I mean, watch, right? When this play starts, uh, you're going to notice that. So Kyler does t make this throw. Uh, and there isn't a ton of separation right here. What you could do is you could just throw it over the top and sort of say, hey, either I'll throw it out of bounds or you make a great catch. You know, it is 31 to 13, so you could play it safe. But the flip side is, hey, you could play aggressive. You're up a ton. Why not, you know, keep taking shots? Uh, and Kyler is going to actually go with a back shoulder throw here, which I just think is the correct decision. I love this decision. And I mean, look, it's also just a perfect throw and an incredible catch on top of that. So all of those things working together, just some really, really fun stuff from Kyler Murray. It really was. So yeah, that's what I think about Kyler and about the Cardinals as a whole. I mean, listen, uh, the numbers were, again, they speak for themselves. 21 for 32 for 289 yards. That's nearly 10 yards per attempt. And if you can get that high, that's like an insane game. So he was just shy of that, along with four touchdowns. And again, as I said, the one interception, which uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't a great interception, but that's okay uh, because he more than made up for it with the good stuff. And so, yeah, a 38-13 to 13 victory. Um you know, you can easily say it's the Titans defense, uh, which I thought was going to be a little better this year. Haven't really uh, de bunt done that much better, to be honest. But, you know, as a whole, I thought this was just an awesome performance by Kyler Murray. And, you know, I know that there's now some MVP buzz a little bit. Again, it's a, I think it's a little bit silly to do that after week one. But again, it's also very fun to do it after week one. So, yeah. What did you guys think about Kyler's performance? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.